another video for you guys as you guys can see what i decided your girl is going to be doing her makeup routine um a lot of people has been requesting this video but i really was like dang like am i really that fine like because i literally been practicing makeup for like two years straight and i crashed and burned so many times but so they say practice makes perfect and i'm not perfect i still have a lot of makeup essentials to work on but i think i'm pretty okay um for what i've heard or whatever so this particular look uh, i'm gonna put a picture right here and show y'all i put it on my instagram and everybody was like video so yeah this is actually my headshot my acting headshot that i submitted for my agency and things like that yeah like it just it's something slight you know not really nothing too crazy you know not over the top very much natural um and i'm gonna show y'all and instruct y'all to the best of my ability but i do have something to tell y'all though the video might be a little little long i know my editor she pretty fast so she gonna cut as much as she can like cut to the point for y'all but y'all i'm still a beginner i'm not even finna sit up here i like i'm a Aaliyah j kind of girl y'all i'm still perfecting my craft and um i've been taking like makeup classes and stuff too so i ain't the best but i'm talking about a little something you feel me but yeah we're just gonna get right into the video um i'm gonna break down to y'all everything i use during so let's get right into it all right y'all so first things first um i use some hand sanitizer because i am about to touch my face so I'm gonna tell y'all now, the longest thing that's gonna take is um probably like my eyebrow. I feel like that's for everybody. But yeah, y'all see my little vanity mirror. I did a B-roll shot of it. Um, you know, some slight. Um, I actually got this vanity mirror off Amazon, for like $300. So y'all look up. I'm gonna try to put the link in the description down below so y'all can check it out and buy it if y'all want to. Let's get right into it. So first things first, you already know I gotta put my primer slash moisturizer on. I'll probably show y'all like that. Primer slash moisturizer on called Squay Lane or something like that. $30. I mean, it's a really good gel moisturizer before you put your makeup on all over my face. Real even. My neck. Secondly, I get real like oily in my T zone up here. I'm trying to put a little bit of this on there. I'm gonna show y'all the name first. I got this from Morph, I believe. I don't know. Hydra Silk Primer. Um, and I don't put a whole lot on because I do have some moisturizer on, but it just takes the shine out of my face like y'all see now. Make sure you rub it in real good because it's like white. Y'all see? I don't know if y'all saw it before and after, but it took majority of the shine on my face. Now we're gonna get to the nitty gritty, which is my eyebrows. So the eyebrow pencil I use, I think it's pronounced Anastasia or Anastasia. It's the dark brown color. I try to keep my um eyebrows as natural as possible. Before I put them on, is some brow freeze. Brow freeze is also Anastasia. There's just Clear. And I put this on my eyebrows, kind of like get my hairs aligned. I take my pinky and then put it on my eyebrow. I don't put a lot because put a lot, it'll have like the gray color. I use my brow pencil brush on the other side of my brush. Yeah, like a little spoolie. I just brush up and I use like a microscope mirror to perfect it. So. So it's easier to put your pencil on there when you go to underline it. I try to turn this way to do it. Like really what I just do, just go over it. My eyebrows are microbladed, so it's a little easier for me. So I apologize if y'all don't got your eyebrows microbladed. I got mine microbladed. So it's easier to define when I put my makeup on. I kind of just lightly put it on there. business right this is the foundation of it. don't trip i know it look a little crazy now but trust me when i fade it out and put my concealer on there it's gonna all come in place right now so y'all i am not a pro with my brows but i'm getting here 
this is a beginner. Keep that in mind. Okay, so um, once you get your brows on, you're gonna take your spoolie again. You're gonna stroke the front of your brow like so. Not too much. You still want it to be there, but just a little bit. Once you establish that fade, you're gonna get into your concealer. The concealer I use is NARS. I literally just switched over to this concealer. I love it. It go on like skin or almost. The color I have is chocolate. So with concealer, a lot of people try to like do like a whole bunch of shades lighter, like three to four shades lighter. But I used to do that, but then I found out that it looked kind of unnatural like that. Versus when you get one, not smack dab your complexion, but similar to your complexion, it just give it a more natural look. And I take a brush. This is the kind of brush you're gonna use. It's kind of like a flat head. Um, I know a lot of people be using like a slanted one, but this is more like a flat head, like a C brush, I guess. A lot of my brushes I got off Amazon as well, or you can get it from the drugstore. I don't really try to be too expensive with my brushes because I feel like all brushes pretty much do the same. I don't try to start directly under my brow to make sure that it don't mess up my line of things. I try to start as you're doing it come up and take your time then you just put the rest that's on your brush on your eyelid why like bring it all the way down to my eyelid it'll also be like a mini base for your eyeshadow so i took a brush like so so and i pat when you do a makeup never ever sw swiping is not the best i pat up under there as much as i can to get that concealer going get it good enough for it to be natural looking and that's gonna go away got a trick for that too so just stay tuned now i'm gonna do my other brow i don't know what it is about this brow but it's different from my other brow i don't know if it's how my microblade is threaded it or what so y'all see the brow it's a little different from this brow okay. boom 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 next step the the top brows, right? So I have a trick that I learned from my makeup artist. She does not use concealer for the top because it looks unnatural. She actually used my foundation shade on top of my brows so it can kind of blend in much, much better than a concealer. Let's get into my foundation because after I'm done doing my eyebrows, I'm going to go right into my foundation. The foundation that I use, it's crazy, but I've been in the sun a lot or sometimes I don't, some months I do. I feel like getting a little tan and my complexion is like three-toned, I feel like. So it's like two different tones of foundation. So I use like an undertone and the overall tone. This month I'm a little chocolate because it's summer, right? So two I use, use Becca, Becca foundation. It goes on like skin. Also, uh, it goes on real thick so you don't have to use too much so your foundation lasts much longer than the other one. Now I use very little, especially if you're trying to get that light. Like a lot of my followers been asking me that light be not too much foundation and Becca will get that overall finish touch. So I'm gonna use these two for my brow. And what I like to do is guess what kind of shade I'm rocking with season um because like i told y'all my tones be fluctuating i don't know why i think it's just skin pigmentation yeah so let's say my eyebrows look too dark darker than my skin or, or you know lighter than my skin i'll just get my other foundation mix it on in there and when i put it all over my face it can cover this is becca tonka and this is becca cocoa i give a little squirt i feel like i'm darker more than i'm lighter so i do a little squirt on my hand like boom that still was a little bit too much messing around with becca and then i do a little bit more i do a little bit more of a bigger squirt with my cocoa because i feel like i'm darker there we go i take the same eyebrow pencil turn my hand over and mix it up mix it in real good because you don't want to be leaving no patches this shade is blending in with my skin already okay shout out to becca and then you just go over it very lightly like i said i don't try to get too close to the brow starting off boom y'all see not too close to my brow but that's all good because i'm about to show y'all how to make up a mess up brow i take my um brow pomade so this is more like a brow gel not a pencil a gel i take my second brow my substitute brow pencil which is more of a slanted so you need both of them in your uh pencil collection this color is dark brown as well kind of like my pencil I kind of put too much concealer right there it don't look as even take it and i just go into it
like it brings it all together and it just makes it look wrong. setting powder setting powder i use is translucent medium deep the reason why i like that powder is because it just brings that softness to your beat take another beaker, a little dabble of it wherever you put your concealer at you put your setting powder every time and what it does is it just gives you that soft look and it just makes whatever just went back dark a little bit brighter to make you look alive right now we talking y'all see y'all see what i did there you really can't stop here i would recommend it this is about to look better as i go but why not you can, you can stick with this this is fine if you started you might as well finish it baby like only like three more steps left did your concealer you did your setting powder you did your contour now it's the fun part um a lot of people do their eyeshadow in the beginning but i like to do my eyeshadow towards the end i try to use about two different shades i have my morph palette and i'm gonna go with like like i said natural like on the picture i showed you guys in the beginning um so I'm gonna do this brown and I got my blush binder from the crayon cake. And I'ma do, since I'm doing brown, I'ma do like a, a light, light, a light brown. And with that, you can put your dark in the front of it or you can put your dark in the back of it. I recommend you putting your light in front of it. I'ma start off with this color first and then I'ma go into all my dark. So the brush I use is this one. I also got this from the crayon case as well. Um, It's kind of like a bushy kind of vibe. Apply it on there real good. Blow it off, close it up. And you wanna pat the entire time, y'all. Don't wipe it on there. I close my eye and I kinda put my head back. As you guys can see, like my eyes still open, but you see like my full lid. Make sure you don't squinch it up like this because it's gonna it's just gonna look crinkly. So you wanna hold it still as much as you can. Pat it, pat it, pat it, pat it. Now we're gonna go in with my morph palette. We're gonna get my brown in there. Blow it off so when we dust it. You don't even need too much, that's it. And I am not doing lashes with this beat because it's a natural beat. Lashes are not natural, that's scary. So, if you don't want to do this, you don't have to do this. What I like to do is put some powder to just bring it all together. This is from MAC, the shade is NW45. It's the same exact shade as my face. 
so it just bring it together. You don't have to do this though. It's just something I do because I'm just self-conscious about my makeup not looking like my shirt. This is also like my favorite part, the bronzer. Bronzer is very important. Let me tell you how important bronzer is. It brings it together completely. Got this bronzer from Sephora. The shade is Ibiza 06 Ibiza. I just know it's dark. It's real dark. I take a brush. So wherever you put your contour, you put your bronzer. So y'all remember I put my contour on my along my hairline, my forehead. I did it in my cheeks and that was it. Oh, and my nose, but you're not gonna put it on your nose. Don't put it on your nose because it's gonna make your nose look hella dark and you don't want that. You take enough to coat your brush. So instead of patting, you kind of just gonna brush it up. Fucking blend it with your contour. Next, blush. Blush is needy, y'all. Blush brings your junk out so much more. I don't know what it is, but y'all see my face now, right? Now wait till you see my blush. And you literally can use, use any of these. All of these are blushes. So depending on what look I'm trying to go for, like I told y'all earlier, I'm trying to go for a very natural look. So I will use either pink or purple. Today, I'm gonna use this shade. This is the kind of brush I use for that. Cause when I pat it on there, it kind of like spread it out. Brush real good. Pat it on there. Mind y'all, with blush, you want to be careful because you don't want it to be too defined where you look like baby alive. Hey, y'all know what I mean by baby alive. Baby alive got the real pink purple cheeks. Hey, baby dolls. We're not trying to go baby alive. We're trying to go natural, natural. Want to use it and pat it. You can smile. I smile just to, you know, help me out. You only put it where your cheekbones at. So, cheese, pat it as I'm going. Do not wipe it on there because it's going to look too defined. You might want to go up the other side. Get them cheekbones. My cheekbones are real high. So this is what you want to do. Right? So, boom. As you guys can see, I, I kind of like baby a lot. So, if you ever feel like it's too defined where it's just like, boom, I'm wearing blush. Take your beauty blender and pat it out, baby. It's, it's a different color from the rest of your makeup, so it's definitely gonna stand out. It's gonna, you still gonna be able to see because it's purple. So y'all see how it's on my cheeks? Y'all see how I just kind of brought it out just real good? I didn't explain it, but it did, trust me. Now we finna go into, we're gonna do outline. For the top, we are gonna use liquid outliner. This is my first time using this pen, so hopefully it turned out cool. It's by Mario, I believe he's Kim Kardashian's makeup artist. And the shade is super black. Like I said, I'm not going to be putting any um, lashes on today, because it's a natural. When I tested it out in the store, it, it, went, it applied pretty good. This actually went on pretty good and it dried so fast. Now we're gonna do the underliner. The underliner I use, just black underliner. Underliner I use, not liquid, it's just pencil. For a pencil. And the shade is just black. This pencil go on pretty thick. So I won't have to like keep going back and forth. Okay, now it's time for mascara because I'm not putting on lashes. Mascara, I'm using this Maybelline. Uh, little drugstore stuff. As you guys can see, I did my eyeshadow, my mascara um, to give it that look. Now, my favorite part. I know I said the other parts was my favorite part, but this is by far my favorite part. My favorite part is my lips, right? Really my favorite. I love, love, love it. I feel like I spend so much money on my lip gloss to do really cute stuff with it. First things first, lip liner. Is this Sephora lip liner? Um, the color is molasses. For Color is molasses. Take your time, like anything else when you're doing makeup. I like my lip liner real bold because my lip gloss is kind of the same color as my lip liner. Y'all, I use like three different things for my lip. I use my Fenty Hot Chocolate. This is my favorite. And I use some more lipstick. It's called Main Squeeze. It's kind of similar to the color of my hot chocolate. That's the only two we gonna use today. After you get your lip, your lip liner on there real good. Now, use your lipstick, not too much. Uh-huh. Little vibe, nude kind of vibe. Lastly, hot chocolate. Yeah, see how it's blending on in. Get into it. I feel like it's too brown. I mean, you know, a lot of you girls out there might like the brown, but I'm trying to give it settled. So I'm just going to top it off with some clear lip gloss. Dab it on there. Mm -hmm.
tutorial. Now, this is really my day to day every time, really like my go to. Um, when I have a business meeting, when I have a photo shoot, because I'm just a really natural girl anyway. I mean, I don't like the whole over the top makeup looks. I'm just a real, real simple girl. So, um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And like I said, I'm still a beginner, so I'm not the best. I did the best I can for you guys. The only thing I really do think I need to work on is my eyebrows. Um, eyebrows like this. I feel like my eyebrows much, much better than it used to. You know, it's always room to get better. But like I said, y'all, I really hope you guys enjoyed this beginner makeup tutorial. Super simple, super easy. I learned how to uh, master this beat in about two to four weeks. Real simple, chocolate girl vibes. Like I said, I'm gonna put this vanity in my um, bio so you guys can purchase it um, on Amazon. A lot of my makeup that I showed y'all today, Morph, Sephora, Amazon, my brushes, Amazon, Amazon, and Beauty Supply Store. Oh, I forgot one thing. Uh oh, I gotta do this again. Okay, y'all, I forgot my setting spray. Setting spray is very important. I use two setting sprays. So, if I want like a matte finish, it's like a drugstore setting spray, NYK. And makeup forever. And I believe I got this from Sephora as well. Hey, y'all, like I was saying before, I noticed I forgot the most important part of the beat. Um, a lot of my makeup I got from Sephora. You can get it from more. You can get it from the beauty supply store, but mainly Sephora. You pretty much can get it from any makeup store. Um, just show them, like maybe screenshot what I showed you guys on my. Uh, on my YouTube video. And be like, hey, do you guys have this? Or write down the names of Becca. Um, I'm also going to have my editor to put the names of stuff. On here for y'all. So y'all can remember it. Know it and be like, excuse me, do you have Becca here? Or do you have this here? Do you have Anastasia here? Um, so you guys can get the exact stuff that I use. Um, like I said, I, I don't know about any other makeup stuff because I haven't used it. Um, I just really just showed y'all like what I, my every my day to day. I know some of you may ask about highlight. Like I said, another video. Um, this one is just really focused on um natural, very, very light natural beat. Like on the picture I showed you guys in the beginning of the video. Yeah, you know, I don't really use any highlight when it comes and natural because I like it's not natural. Um, even it, I feel like I like just give you a natural glow kind of vibe. I really hope I covered everything. I really hope I helped you guys. Like I said, this is a super duper easy beginner step one, step two makeup video. I feel like it's the easiest because I literally mastered this beat in about two or three weeks. Um, just and trust me, y'all. The more you like do your makeup, the better you're gonna get just without even trying. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, cut the, the bell on so y'all can know when your girl posts another video, especially for the new watchers. What it do, follow my Instagram, my TikTok, my Twitter, everything y'all need. Peace and bless.